Hey guys, today I'm just going to quickly go through uh, how to do squats properly and effectively. Squats are so important for judo. Every judo player should be doing squats. You know, when you look at throws like Ippon Sinagi and, and, and Haragoshi, you're in a squatting, I mean, in Sinagi, you're in a squatting position. And even with those sort of guy in Haragoshi, you're powering off that leg from a squatting position. So you need to be used to and familiar with a squat. So with a squat, it's important to keep your head up and your back, uh, back straight. Feet shoulder width apart with your toes uh, pointing forwards. To be honest, they can be pointing outwards a little bit, but in judo, we want to have our, our feet pointing pretty much straight for Sinagi. So if you get used to pointing it out a little bit, it gets a little bit funny when, you do, when you're doing your judo techniques. So with a squat, we're going to start off with a bodyweight squat. I'm going to keep my head up and my back straight. The main thing people do wrong when they squat is they lean forward like off the knees like this. Okay, and it puts, you know, look at the biomechanic I'm in such a bad position. You want to be doing squats like you're sitting down at the dinner table. So you, you pull out your chair and you sit down. That's how you do a squat. Okay, so um, what we want to do is imagine that we're sitting down on a chair. Okay, sitting down. My head up and my back straight. To help the bodyweight squat, you use your hands to come up as you go down. And that'll keep your head up as well. So I'm going to squat like this. You notice I'm on balance. I'm not falling backwards. I'm not, I'm not leaning like this. I'm bending the knees, keeping my head up and my back straight. Okay, so... With the strength training for judo, you're going to start off doing bodyweight squats, moving on to goblet squats, then half squats and full squats, okay? So you're going to gradually get to doing the back squat position rather than going straight for front squats and things like that that are a bit technically harder. So we're starting off with bodyweight squats, head up back straight, feet shoulder width apart, I'm going to squat down, and arms up for balance. You know, you might want to do prisoner squats, you put your hands behind your head. It's a little bit harder for balance. Then we move on to a goblet squat, which is where I've got the dumbbell here. And that keeps my head up and my back straight, also works the shoulders. Once again, exact same positioning, okay? Just keeping those shoulders up, head up, back straight. Try to be in a good position for the goblet squat. Last, we're gonna move on to a half squat and a, and a back squat and a full squat. So for the back squat, it's important that if you're at home, you're gonna somehow get the bar to the, to the back of your shoulders, which case you're gonna have to take a, a wider grip you might have to clean it a little bit, press, put it behind your head. If you're at the gym, you'll have a squat rack, you'll be able to just rack the bar at a perfect position. Now, it might hurt your neck. Some people get a sore neck with the bar on, on the back of their, um, on the neck. But we don't want the bar sitting on our cervical spine, on the, on the bones. We want to be sitting at, on the top of the trapezius muscles in the back of your neck. So to activate your tra <laughs> trapezius muscles, you want to pull your shoulder blades together and try to touch your elbows behind your back. And by doing that, my trap muscles stick out and that's where the bar sits. So the bar is now sitting comfortably, although it's only a 20 kilo bar, it's sitting comfortably on my neck and it's not uncomfortable. I want to make sure when I squat, with a back squat, head up back straight as always, okay? This, if you're a bit tight in the shoulders, I've got a sore shoulder at the moment, so I've got quite a wide grip. But if your shoulders are quite good, you can come in quite close. Feet shoulder width apart, feet pointing forwards. Okay, I want to squat down. Now that's a full squat. So we're getting right down below past parallel with my, with, my, with my quads, okay? If not, I can just do a half squat, which is here. Okay, you notice I'm not breaking at the hips and leaning forwards with the knees, I'm coming backwards. Okay, so back squat, head up, back straight. That's a half squat. Full squat, we're getting right down. Right down, nice and low. Lastly, we have a front squat. Now, a front squat, we're going to start it from the push press kind of position, like I was talking about with the power cleans and the complexes and the thrusters, okay? We need to keep our elbows inside the knees so when I squat, I don't injure my wrist when my elbows hit my, hit my, um, my knees. If this is a bit uncomfortable for your wrists, you can cross your elbows, your, your arms like this. I'm not a big fan like the, of this particular technique because um, we really want to work your push press and your, and your thrusters and you can't thrust and push press from here. But if it helps your wrist, if you've got a bit of a funny wrist and your front squat like this is no problem. You may also like to do zercher squats which aren't in strength training for judo but you drop the, the bar into the cook of your elbows and we're going to squat like that. Adds a bit of a, not a functional but just a different approach to a, to a squat. I still got to keep my head up and my back straight. But I want to make sure each time when I squat, the main thing we're looking at is head up and back straight, feet shoulder width apart, 
and I'm not breaking at the knees, I'm not squatting on my toes, okay, I'm going to get my bum back exactly like if you're throwing someone, if I see an Aggie, you're in a good position with your head up and your back straight, which is why squats are so important. They keep your head up and, the, and your back straight, they bend your knees and they, they give you such a powerful stability and base for Ipon Sinagi and other techniques. So with squats, if you need help, make sure you ask your, your fitness professional or gym personal trainer that's nearby in your gym, or feel free to email me and I can help you out as well. Uh, so have a great week everyone and talk soon.